So now that we have our concept of solutions under our belt, we're going to start doing some calculations with them. And we want to kind of basically put a number on this solubility. Okay, a <clears throat> mathematical equation or expression of that. And how we're going to do that is we're going to talk about solution concentration. And from your pre-lecture worksheet, you will notice that there are four different types of solution concentrations that we're going to talk about. There are more out there, um, but we're just going to concentrate on the four. Okay, there are three percent compositions, and then the fourth one, which is the more important one for chemistry, is the molarity. Okay, so this video is going to concentrate on the percent compositions, and then the next video will look at molarity as a, a different type of solution concentration. So in general, um, what we mean by concentration is we're, we're having a certain amount of solute dissolved in a solution. <clears throat> so again, we have four different types. Three of them are percent concentrations, and the fourth one is molarity. So our first one that we're going to talk about is our mass percent. Or we have percent mass by mass. Or shorthand, we'll have percent m slash m for mass by mass. Or occasionally, uh, weight is in, uh, used incorrectly, so sometimes you might see this percent %w slash w. Okay, so remember weight, we're trying to get away from. We want to talk about things in terms of mass. So our mass percent, okay, or percent mass by mass equation is going to be the mass of our solute divided by the mass of our solution. And just uh, like equation, I shorthand solution SOL with an N as a superscript. Some people like apostrophe N. Um, do whatever suits you. And we want this in percent, so we'll multiply by 100%. Generally, our units are going to be in grams per gram, okay? uh, at least the mass of our solutes and the mass of our solution. Uh, so those will um, basically get us to our percent. The mass of our solution, okay, if you don't have the mass of the solution directly, which most of the time you, you won't, Okay, this is going to be the mass of the solute plus the mass of the solvent. These are both equations that you will want to know. So maybe if you have that <clears throat> sheet that you've been keeping track of all the things that you need to know, this is an equation to add to that. Okay. So let's work through an example to show you how uh, this works. Let's look at what is the percent mass by mass 
when we have 500 grams of sugar dissolved in 300 grams of water. Well, first question we have to ask ourselves is what is uh, the solute and what is the solvent? Well, anytime that we're dissolving in water, okay, that usually means that whatever we're, is being dissolved is going to be our solute and then our water is our solvent. So if we follow our equation up here, we have percent mass by mass. This is going to be equal to our mass of our solute, which is 500 grams. We want to divide by the mass of our solution, which is the mass of our solute plus the mass of our solvent. So we have 500 grams from our solute plus 300 grams of our solvent times 100 percent. So we end up with 500 divided by 800, 500 plus 300, basically 5 eighths, uh, which is 0 0.625, so we have 62.5 percent mass by mass. So that's how we use our mass percent, one type of concentration. Our next con type of concentration looks at uh, percent of volume, so volume percent. Or percent volume by volume. Percent V slash V. Our equation for this, very similar to our equation for percent mass by mass. We're just looking at using volumes. So percent V slash V is equal to the volume of the solute divided by the volume of our solution times 100 percent. And in general, we're usually looking at uh, units of milliliters per milliliters. Now volumes, unlike mass here, masses are additive, they're conserved, so we can take the mass of the solution is equal to the mass of the solute and the solvent together. We can't do the same thing with volumes. Okay, Volume depends on density, and the density could change depending on what the solute is, depending on what your solution is, depending on what the solvent is. So in general, usually your the volume of your solution is given somehow in your equation or in your uh, word problem. Yeah, so you just kind of have to be careful when you read that question. And I'll show you the uh, example um, that we're going to do next, how you'll see that. And hopefully it doesn't surprise you. This is also an equation you'll want to know.
So let's work through an example here. Let's look at what, it, what is the volume percent of alcohol when 14 milliliters of alcohol are in 100 milliliters of wine. So again, we want to ask ourselves, what is our solute and what is our solvent? Our solute, remember, is the thing that's usually in the lesser amount. So the alcohol is our solute. Wine, in this case, is not the solvent. The wine is our solution. Okay, the wine already has the alcohol in it, or at least I hope so, because that's kind of the whole point of wine, I think. Um, so that's where I'm saying usually your volume of your solution is given to you in your problem. Okay, and that in our, our this is already our solution here. We don't even care about what the solvent is because we don't need it. We just need our volume of our solute and the volume of our solution. So our percent V by V is our 14 milliliters of alcohol divided by 100 milliliters of wine times 100 percent, which ends up with 14 percent volume slash volume. So if you ever have a uh, bottle of wine or you're cru cruising through the store, you can look at the bottom of the wine labels and they'll have this type of expression here. And it's basically telling you what that percent concentration of the alcohol is in that wine bottle. Okay, So for every 100 milliliters of wine that you have, you're going to get 14 milliliters of that is just alcohol. Okay, the rest of that is your solvent. All right, our third type of percent composition or percent concentration is the kind of combo hybrid of both mass percent and volume percent, and that it is the mass volume percent. So we have percent M slash V, or sometimes, again, we have incorrectly weight used. Um, so sometimes you'll see that percent W slash V. So our equation for our mass volume percent, we'll have the mass of our solute divided by the volume of our solution times 100 percent and we're looking at units of grams for our mass and milliliters for our volume. So we can work through an example here. What is the percent mass slash volume of NaCl when 2.5 grams of sodium chloride are in 50.0 milliliters of a solution?
So basically we just have to make sure that the mass of our solution is in grams, or mass of our solute, excuse me. So in this case, NaCl, this is our solute. And we have units of grams. And then we have our solution. And we want that in units of milliliters. So our percent mass slash volume is going to be equal to 2.50 grams per the volume of our solution, so 50.0 milliliters times by 100%. And we end up with a 5.00% mass slash volume. Now I had three sig figs in each of my values that I started with, which is why I have three sig figs in my answer. So I had my first sig fig, and then these two zeros are significant because they come after the decimal after a non-zero digit.